But before we start, please give the video a like and make sure to subscribe to Wonderbot and hit the bell so you'll never miss any uploads from us. They say that true love is something that would never die. We must have all heard about people saying that love is the most precious thing that anyone could ever find in this world. Well, these statements may just be words to some people, to some it's reality. We must have all experienced or met someone who fell in love with for a few weeks or months. Some people's love lasts even after their death. Well, Becca and Mason were a couple that met very young and fell in love. Right after they met, this couple knew they were meant for each other and decided to marry. The two lovebirds were in the same school but only met each other after they graduated. So after dating for a while, Becca and Mason knew that this was not just a fun thing, that their relationship was the real deal. So obviously the next step for the couple was to get married. They soon got engaged and in a few weeks tied the knot. Since their connection was real and true, Becca and Mason were living a wonderful life, happy and content. The couple was coordinating the perfect married life. They would always been understanding and loving towards one another. So Becca and Mason's marriage did not have many issues. Mason was running a successful business, working from their home, while Becca was an excellent mother. She was looking after their son, Mason Jr. Becca and Mason had never wanted to live lavishly. The couple was actually leading a rather simple life. But the most important thing was they were content. They were living a blissful life together as a family. After meeting each other, the two had known that they were meant to be for each other. And they were right. They lived a happily married life for 32 years. In life, we know that nothing lasts forever. Even the most beautiful things and precious moments need to end. Hence, even Becca and Mason's happy life took a turn for the worst when something tragic happened. When they thought nothing could go wrong, Mason Sr. fell terribly ill. He was severely sick and soon the doctors found out he had heart disease. And so, after finding out that he was living with heart disease, Mason knew he did not want to make others around him suffer. He especially did not want Becca to hurt because of his sickness. His health was deteriorating rapidly, but Mason wished to stay as normal as he possibly could. He wanted to remain this way for his family's sake. Even after learning about the severity of his job, Mason wanted to keep working and not stop his daily routine. As Mason was continuing to go to his work as a carpenter, he wanted to stay unaffected by his disease. But as we all know, for how serious heart diseases are, Mason would have to accept the fact that his ways would not work for long. Even after he refused to give up working, Mason's heart disease ended up being too much to ignore. After he received the best possible treatment he could receive, Mason unfortunately passed away. His tragic death happened when he was the age of 51. His heart disease took over his body until it was too much for him. He left his wife and son behind. As we said, Mason wanted his disease to not affect him too badly. He made sure to stay as positive as he could, but the illness spread quicker than anyone expected. It progressed so fast that he died from it in a matter of days. So when he passed away, he left the whole family in utter shock. Everyone had a little glimmer of hope that things would turn out fine. So after being diagnosed with heart disease and trying hard to fight back, Mason could not escape his death. So since Mason was always keen on making the other people around him happy, he was clear that he wanted to give them something to smile about in the midst of all this. He was certain that there would be some kind of gesture he could leave his family with. And of course, out of all the people he'd have to leave behind, he was most concerned about his love, Becca. He wanted to make sure that the woman he loved and shared all his fond memories with was not left in a sad space. That was when Mason started to think of plans to make sure he had made things better. So what could the sick man possibly have done? So even though Mason made sure to leave something for Becca, he would keep it quite safe and secure. It actually took her some time to find the gift Mason kept for her. She had to spend two years to try and find what Mason wanted her to have. It actually took Becca a very long while until she finally got the courage to go inside Mason's workshop in the garage. But when Becca took some time to enter the garage, she realized that there was something spectacular kept inside. In the presence of so much sawdust, hidden in between the tools that were also with the dust, was kept an unfinished table. Becca flipped the table over. And then what she spotted was something that took her attention immediately. There was a message. The message on the table was, I love you, Becca. Whatever day this is, I hope it's a good one. God truly answered my prayers the day he gave me you. I know these days are the best I'll ever have, and I'm glad you're in them. I'm not sure if you'll ever see this, but if you do, 
Just know that I love you very much. If there's one thing I want in life, it's to be as good to you as you are to me. If I can do that, I'll be the happiest man alive. I love you, beautiful wife, Mason. Love stories such as these can be an inspiration to a lot of people. We know that everyone is looking for love, that it's something we all wish to find. 